Nickelodeon, if you want to know about it, it's a kid-owned environment. It didn't feel like the version of what an adult was telling a kid to watch. It felt like really what kids were into. I don't know. Kids can smell from a thousand miles away when they're being sold a bunch of crap. If it was a tiny bit naughty, kids would really appreciate that and feel that it was real and it was really for them. You can't do that on TV. No one really knew if it was going to end up being successful. We were the anti-Disney. We were the anti-Saturday morning. We wanted less acting and we wanted more normal kids. How come everybody draws babies as these beautiful ones? When they first come out, heads are kind of weird looking, kind of funny looking. And that's why the Rugrats were drawn like they were. The inmates were very much running the asylum back then. It was way easier to slip stuff in. They trusted us. I mean, the stuff we got away with was insane. There's something about just making a show that is just about laughing, it's about having fun, and it's about just being silly. When we all got together, we knew there was something magical. To have that diversity in, a, in the show. It gave a lot of hope to a lot of kids coming from different walks of life saying like, well, well, I can do this too. Mothers were going to work for the first time, divorce rates were high, kids were either coming home alone or in after school programs. They needed a place where they could just be kids. They want a childhood, let's give it to them. So there's all those crazy things that happened that, you know, nobody knows about.